Hey yo! It's super freaking cold in Austin right now. It's super cold in the entire country, actually, right now. Climate change, man. I'm telling you. Anyways, it's also tech news time. I'm Daria, and this is the Redheaded Geek Show. <laughs> A new 3D printer in the spotlight is also a super cool one. Flux is modular, eliminating the need to get different equipment based on what project you want to tackle. Instead, you just swap out components. Flux has a dual extruder, ceramics extruder, and even a pastry extruder. Hmm, yeah. It has open air arms that flow up and down to print more efficiently in advance than other printers out there. It has a 3D scanner as well as a laser engraver to burn patterns into surfaces in food. It works fast, printing 100 millimeters per second while several fans cool it off. The results are also precise because of how high res the step motors are. Flux is on Kickstarter and a pledge of $4.99 to $5.99 might get you this guy. That sounds really cheap. I guess that's part of the appeal. Here is an invention I've always wanted to see. I love Polaroids, don't you? They're amazing. Well, a hardware startup called Print, Print with a Y, P-R-Y-N-T. Not regular print, that'd be stupid. Print has created a prototype of a new smartphone case with a built-in printer. It works by sending a photo to the case using Bluetooth and then prints it out by heating paper filled with ink. Currently, it takes a whole 50 seconds to print a photo and holds just one piece of paper at a time but hey, that's super okay with me. It's a little handheld Polaroid. And soon it will be able to hold 10 to 30 sheets of paper once the consumer version is perfected and take just 30 seconds from photo to printed paper, thanks to better hardware and a direct physical connection between the phone and the case. Next is something genius. Something I've heard of before, but it worked a little differently. Check out this two-part water bottle instrument that attaches to your bike to generate water. It's called Fontis. When a cycle is in motion, air is funneled into the top holster and distributed over a condensing machine. A solar-powered cooling element turns it into moisture, and then it drips down into the water bottle, producing about 17 ounces. Yeah, this is cool for the sweaty cyclist. What was that? But what about regions where clean water are sparse? Hot and humid regions like Africa are ideal for making Fontis the most efficient. In about an hour of use, about a half a liter of water can be made. Making water? This is amazing. This is what countries like that have always needed, so send the Fontises. I promise if I get rich, I'll send a million Fontises to Africa and other places. Raspberry Pi lovers, there's a new cheaper and smaller Pi in town. The Pi A Plus, a model with 256 megabytes of RAM and the ability to perform a computer's basic functions, such as viewing docs and streaming video, is only $25 now. The Pi Foundation claim these new Pis consume less power than previous models and have made improvements to the computer's micro SD card socket and they have more GPIO pins which of course are good for connecting to sensors and expansion boards. Finally, the audio circuit is apparently less noisy. You know, because those pies make so much noise. As always, the original point of these things, they also hope the cheap price will make young programmers seek the availability of these little computers and start learning how to program and tinker with computers using the pie. Yeah. Thanks guys for watching my show. Like every single one of you that watch my show. Thanks for watching my show. Let's get coffee. I'll get coffee with a lot of you. Anyways, have a good weekend and wear a jacket and like this video and subscribe to partspeople.com.